Hey y'all, TJ here. This is actually gonna, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone here. I'm gonna make this video for Linda's Pantry and her YouTube channel name is 255 Sage. And uh, I figured I'd do this while I'm doing all this cooking for the holidays, for Thanksgiving. I'm just, we're gonna, today we're gonna make um, pecan pies. And the recipe is for a single pie, so we're gonna double everything we do. Okay, um, we need to start off with, sorry, I was having a little brain trouble there, <laughs> a half a cup of sugar, and I thought I had my half cup measuring thing out, but I don't guess I did, there we go, we need a half a cup of sugar, so we're going to make that one whole cup of sugar, because we're doubling the recipe, remember. It calls for three eggs, and thank goodness I've got some wonderful little hens that have started back laying for me. Nothing like fresh eggs. So we're gonna put, calls for three, we're gonna put six. Because who wants just one pecan pie? I mean, really. I don't know anybody that just wants one. <laughs> Not me. Usually what'll happen is I'll fix two and one will actually never make it out of the house, so. I have to go ahead and make two because the hubby, he'll come in. He don't care what it's for. He'll just dig into it. I see something right there on my little egg that I need to get out. I don't like the way it looks. Actually, I think I'll just take the whole little egg yolk out and we'll get us another one. It um, wasn't anything bad, but I'm just sort of funny about stuff like that. So we're just going to get another egg. We'll get one washed up here. Okay. Now then. All right. We got our six eggs in there. And it calls for one cup of corn syrup, which is, I mean, most people know it as uh, Cairo syrup. And instead of using the plain caro syrup, I use the brown sugar corn syrup, and it makes for delicious pies. Absolutely delicious. Okay, it calls for one cup. We're going to do two. There's one. Looks like it turns out one bottle is two cups. So that worked out great. That's good. Always takes forever for syrup to come out. <laughs> Someone's gonna take my spoon here and dig around, get that little goodness out. And we're gonna carry on. Go ahead and mix that up a little bit. See if we can get this in there while we're stirring around. All right, and it also calls for four tablespoons of melted butter. And I've already got my butter melted here, and I melted eight tablespoons, so that was actually one whole stick of butter. But remember, we're making two pies, so. I think that's about good enough on the syrup. And I've had different recipes call for different things. This one actually calls for one teaspoon of vanilla. I don't usually measure my vanilla, so there we go. And I'll just carefully mix this around. I want to slosh it out everywhere. But you want to get your eggs and all, you know, Incorporate it good into with your sugar and your syrup and all that good stuff. Now you can use a mixer if you want to. This is not really a hard thing to mix up, so I didn't 
break out the mixer. I think I will get a whisk. <laughs> the first one I come to is when it comes on my mixer. So, <laughs> I'll lay that spoon right there till we get this done. And it smells wonderful with that brown sugar Cairo syrup in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. The only other thing to put in there is the yummy, yummy, yummy pecans. And it calls for one cup. And we're making two pies, so we're going to do two cups. Let me get this bag open. So I threw my other one in the sink like a dummy. So, there's one heaping cup. There's two heaping cups, and I'm gonna put just a tad bit more in there just for, just cause I wish to. <laughs> Never had any complaints before from adding extra, so. And then all you do is just stir that up good together. And we're going to pour it into pie shells. And we're going to bake it at 450 degrees for 10 minutes. Then we're going to reduce the heat and bake for 35 more minutes um, at 300 degrees. Pecan pies are so simple. And a lot of people... Don't ever make them because they think they're so complicated, but they're not. All right, so we're going to pour half in here. And we're going to put another half in here. Put a little more over here. Okay. Swirl them pecans around a little bit. Make sure they're out. And that's it. That's all you got to do for pecan pies. So, uh, Linda, I hope that's satisfac satisfactory. Can't even talk. For your contest. And um, congratulations on all your subs. And we'll talk at y'all later. I'm going to put these in the oven. See ya.